Good morning, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions and today I'm shooting a video of our 2021 Chrysler Voyager LXI. You can see with the key fob here I can operate both power sliding doors. It's got the rear trunk hatch is manual. It's got a brand new rear entry conversion, easy to operate, low cost to maintain. I can operate this entire conversion using just two fingers. I pinch and I flip. It's got a handle on either side. These clamps, they keep these ramps from rattling. It's a pretty good design. Pinch and flip, super simple to do and check it out. I can take this out using only my index finger. Super simple to do. I tell our customers, if you can lift a half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate this 34 inch wide ramp with ease. That's four inches wider than a side entry, so it's more room for a bigger chair. If someone parks next to you in a side entry, you cannot get out of your vehicle. Not the case with the re rear entry. The rear entry have about four inches of more ground clearance, so you can get over rougher terrain and things like that. And they're more affordable to convert, therefore more affordable for you to purchase. A few of the reasons I like the uh, rear entry over the side entry, but we sell both, so if you're looking for a side entry, give me a call. 800 pound weight capacity, 56 inches coming inside, the headroom inside, uh, coming inside, and the 56 once you're inside. It does taper down to about 32 inches of width here at the base where the ramp sets. And these Chryslers, they have the deepest deepest cut channel here uh, they're about a foot longer than Toyota and Dodge so if you're looking to haul two wheelchairs at a time need that extra space these Chrysler's might be the answer for you it's also got the spare tire back here I've got pictures of it in the in our in our uh, in our ads so you got spare tire right there um, get that put on when I got two hands we got the upgraded Q-Strain tie downs with a high dollar we'll throw those in at no additional cost to you uh, 21 inches of room between the seats if you want flip base seats that flip up on their side when they're not in use, we can install those at additional cost. We can put a third row seat that flips up and down uh, when not in use. So um, let us know your measurements. Let us know how many people you're hauling. Let us help customize this van to meet your needs. Headliner's in great shape. You got cup holders in the rear. You got your rear air controls over there. It's even got the uh, places for your tie downs back here as well off the ground if, that's, if that works for you. Nice clean interior, you can get all your inf instructions there for your tie downs as well. A nice center console. Plenty of plugs for all your electronics. It's your dual climate control, your rear air. The dash is in great shape on this van. No cracks or holes in the dash. The steering wheel controls so you can keep your eyes on the road. And it's got the uh, power sliding doors can be operated up here as well. And notice on this key, it does have the spot for the remote trunk hatch. Someone made the wrong key. Everything works. It doesn't. It works fine. It just has an extra button, but there's no remote trunk up here. So this does not, I repeat, does not have a remote trunk. It's manual. But you can operate the power sliding doors up there. So when you got everybody secure, come back out. Reverse the process. One finger. That's all it takes. Check it out. Lift it up. Clamp it down. Be ready to go on about your day. A quick walk around to the van. It's got tainted windows in the rear. It's got the alloy wheels. Um, it's got brand new tires on it. Look at all the tread on those tires. Good to go. They got the white walls facing out. I kind of like the old school look. Check it out. Looks good. Reminds me of the old days. It's a good looking van. As I do a walk around, it's hard to find dent or a scratch on this vehicle. We uh, have a paintless dent repair. Guy comes out. He looks at all of our vehicles. Tries to get them good, looking good as possible. And uh, boy, this van sure is clean. I'm looking. I see a little little touch up paint there about another inch right there see and I'm not trying to paint it as a perfect van but overall it's a nice clean van I'm, I'm very impressed with it I know you will be too so um, one thing I always do is we show you the VIN number no matter who you buy from get you a uh, get you a video not a picture a video of this VIN number what this means these are hard to duplicate so that means the vehicles here in my possession this is not some internet scam what we do with that VIN number on a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles. You can see just one owner, no accidents or damage. Uh, last owned as a rental vehicle. Now, a lot of people say stay away from rentals. I would agree if it's a sports car. But I actually look for those when I'm buying uh, mobility vehicles to convert. Because uh, that, that means highway miles. You know, people rent that. They take it out vacations. That's a good thing. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or linen brands on the title. They show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. Clean title, one owner, no accidents. Carfax shows no structural damage. Airbags have never been deployed. Odometer's accurate and no open recalls. Now, no matter who you do business with, find them online. Check out their reviews. Check out their ratings. Find us on eBay. 1,369 transactions. Every single one of those. 
customer, uh, transactions left us positive feedback, that's quite a report card. And no matter who you do business with, find them online. Make sure they are a real company, first of all. You can see we're here in Wichita, Kansas on Google. And then check out their reviews and ratings. Look at our 4.8 out of 5 stars. I hear people all the time, they complain about certain mobility dealers, you know, selling them a van for $10,000 too much. Um, one with title problems, flood damage, you name it, I've heard it all. I look up those dealers online, they've got one, two, you know, three star reviews. You know, as a, as a buyer, you have the, the obligation, you know, the responsibility. You need to look up who you're buying from. It takes a whole 60 seconds. Look at their reviews, look at their ratings. Or they end up buying from somebody off Craigslist or Facebook they know nothing about. Uh, they end up, you know, buying a complete lemon or getting scammed out of a bunch of money. So if you want to avoid all that mess, if you want five star vans with five star service from somebody that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, back to the van. When it's locked, you hit the remote start button there twice. <clears throat> it's got the remote start. Van fires right up. So whether you're coming up uh, in the summertime and you want to come out to a nice uh, cooled off van or you want to come out in the wintertime uh, when it's all heated up and ready to go, you got that option. It's got the push button start, which I like. If the key is in your purse or your pocket, you get in, you put your foot on the brake, you push that button, the van fires up officially. You can see 61,790 miles. There's no check engine lights on, no airbag, none of that. Put your backup camera there. That's a great safety feature to have. And I've got three mechanics that work for me. We checked all the power mirrors, the power windows, the power locks. I'm going to show some of that to you right now. The heat, air, cruise, belts, hoses, suspension, steering, brakes, tires. Of course, they're new tires, but taking them on a road test, replace fluids as necessary. This is not some vehicle we just run it through the car wash and throw it on the lot. I hope you can tell by our videos and our pictures, we are very thorough in everything we do. Underneath the hood is a 3.6 V6 engine. Idles smoothly, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks, and it purrs like a kitten. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident, no signs of any fluid leaks, no signs of any rust from being up, up north or being in a flood. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy a used vehicle. They assume things. They assume just because it looks nice in pictures, or they assume because it's 2021, they assume it runs and drives good. They assume it hasn't been in a bad accident. They assume it has a clean title. That's the most dangerous thing you can do when buying a used vehicle. So what I want you to do, I want you to go check out my competition. I want you to go to their website. That's right, I'm sending you to my competition. Do they show you the rep reputation online so you know you're buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show you a Carfax report so you know you're buying a vehicle that's got a clean title, no major accidents, and you can see the history of it? Do they get out on their hands and knees like I am right now? Do they even bother getting you a picture of the, of the under undercarriage, much less a detailed video? So when it comes to uh, not only price, reputation, and how thorough they are showing you the vehicle, please, please compare me to the competition. You know what ends up happening? If, if you end up buying a vehicle that does have frame damage, whether it's from you know a rust, a flood, an accident, it may not pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection in your state, guess what? You just bought a van you can't even drive. So do four things. Demand a detailed video like this. Not some 30 second walk around. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a Carfax report. Not some cheap knockoff. Um, Carfax is very expensive. I pay a lot of money every month for it. But I want to know what I'm buying and I want to know what I'm selling. That's very important. Um, get online. Find out who you're buying from. Check out their reputation. Check out their reviews. Uh, make sure you're buying from a reputable dealer. And lastly, demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90-day, 3,000-mile drivetrain plus warranty. Good at any shop in the country. So do not risk buying as is. Demand that warranty. I don't know if you saw me dancing there. I had a little bee came in the door there. And I didn't want to get stung by him, so I was kind of dancing around him while I'm doing the video. So I always got a multitask running a small business, I'll tell you that. So let's get her out for a test drive. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the highway. Give them some gas so you can hear the engine run. Feel the transmission shift through all the gears. And you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this Voyager home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. Pop it up to 70 miles an hour here real quick. There we go. Good acceleration. Engine strong. Transmission shifts smoothly. The steering wheel is nice and straight. Runs and drives like a brand new van. Very nice. Got the cruise control set, cruise works. And also keep in mind that uh, we do have the 90 day drivetrain plus warranty we include with this van. We do have longer term warranties, 
that are bumper to bumper type. Um, they go anywhere from 90 days all the way out to eight years. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long term. Also, keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers, they show a real nice price online. What they have hidden in the fine print is a $500 administrative fee. Then they got a document fee and a tag fee and freight, you name it. They got a fee for it. And oh yeah, they don't have free shipping like we do. So next thing you know, once you add up all those hidden fees, once you add up the shipping, that real nice price you saw online jumps three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask about those hidden fees. Be sure to ask about that shipping before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know. I just know in all business, especially the used car business, transparency is key. That's why I'm making this video right now. 100% transparency is key. So um, keep that in mind when you're out shopping. I'm going to give the van a nice hard break. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And if you'd like to give us a phone call, just want to show you that radio works too. For all you Eminem fans out there, you got to hear him rap a little bit. But uh, if you want to give us a call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Now, if texting is easier for you, or you just feel more comfortable texting, here's my cell phone, 316-518. 4377. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You now have my cell phone. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to call in, talk to an automated system, end up in somebody's voicemail, can't get a live person, and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get a live person. Maybe it's, maybe it's that super pushy used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, if you're sick of being treated like just a number to all these companies out there, and if you definitely want to avoid that super pushy used car salesman, then reach out to me. I'm happy to help. I'll get you taken care of, walk you through start to finish. And uh, I promise no pushy sales here. I'm going to sell this Voyager whether you buy it or not. Absolutely zero pressure sales here. I'm just here to help. Uh, yes, we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to take an application over the phone. Uh, yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle. Call me, I can explain how that works. And uh, if you ever do want to come in, please make sure you make an appointment with me. I know your time is valuable. Sometimes I'm out doing this, sometimes I'm at auction. My point is, I don't want to miss you. Call me up, make an appointment. Please do not just show up unannounced. I might not be there. So, um, And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports and dozens of pictures so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com that's mobility316.com and if you made it all the way all the way to the end of our video thanks for hanging in there uh, give us a like if you don't mind give us a follow we've got a lot more vans coming up so if, if this is not the one for you Keep an eye on what we do have coming in. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.